hello ride on people now this is a triumph motorcycle and triumph motorcycles are made by those lovely people in hinkley in leicestershire in england and uh it was uh, a privilege and a pleasure of mine to briefly meet uh nick Bloor, the ceo of triumph uh, a couple of weeks ago uh for those that don't know the triumph brand has been around a, about a hundred years or so and uh back in the kind of uh late 80s I guess um, John Bloor who owned uh, Bloor Construction um, and was heavily involved in kind of building houses and still is actually to this day uh, he bought the rights to the Triumph name and uh, he resurrected uh, the Triumph brand and his son Nick uh, went to work for Triumph when he'd finished his education Nick actually did an engineering degree in Loughborough and then um, attended London Business School and also the Harvard Business School and uh, began work doing some uh, procurement work and um, became export manager at Triumph and is now the uh, the CEO so he, he is the main man and uh, it was nice to meet him I didn't video it and um, I don't want to discuss everything that we discussed um, and my time with him was very brief, you know, 10 minutes or so, something like that. Um, but I just wanted to say that um, it was thoroughly nice uh, to meet Nick. He's an incredibly humble and down-to-earth guy. Um, I think what Triumph are doing with their bikes at the moment um, speaks for itself. And uh, it's definitely in safe hands under him. He was very uh, interested to know what Triumphs um, I'd had, how many Triumphs have owned and what triumphs i currently have i told him i really like this uh, tiger 1200 rad explorer and i'm really excited to be getting um the triumph street triple rs this coming summer uh in cosmic yellow which i'm really excited about and um he was very down to earth very uh, uh full of humor uh we joked about uh, <laughs> a few things actually um and uh just a very nice guy and uh i really kind of pretty much wanted just to share that to sort of say uh it was very nice to to meet him and very down-to-earth guy and i think he's doing great things with the business i will just say one thing to give you a kind of clue about uh how down-to-earth and humorous he can be is uh, i asked him about his father john and said uh you know john must be getting on a bit now uh you know he must be kind of you know in his 80s or whatever and he said he's uh, i think he said he's 80 this year actually and then he uh, made me laugh by saying uh, but he still comes into the boardroom every month and kicks my ass <laughs> so <laughs> that made me smile because john is um, a thorough businessman and without that triumph uh, as we know it now would never exist uh, I, i'm not even sure john had a, a real interest in motorcycles but he saw a good opportunity and was savvy enough to know that um you know you don't just build something and offer it to people you ask what they want get their feedback and then apply um, proper build quality techniques having spoken with kawasaki industries early on in the development to understand manufacturing a bit and i've been to the factory um, both factories actually the first one that his father john built uh, which unfortunately burnt down and then the resurrected one it's kind of handy if you own a construction company i guess in terms of that and um yeah, um, I haven't been there for a long time now, but it's um, I was blown away last time I was there in terms of the uh, the care and the quality control and their production techniques. And they continue to go from strength to strength, which is why I guess I'm kind of like a brand ambassador at the moment in terms of uh, I'm going to be all in on Triumph this year with my uh, Tiger Rally Explorer 1200. Uh, I'll be doing some mini tours and there'll be some more um, videos on this coming out. And of course, once I get my street triple, I dare say there'll be a little bit of farkling, uh, but certainly some fun videos. I'll put the 360 camera on and uh, we'll get it up in the mountains and the twisties and have some fun. But for now, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Hey, you, if you want to become one of the right on people, don't forget to subscribe. Write often, write carefully. Right on.